what they gave us. First and foremost, let us hold the U.S. government accountable. Pull out your cell phones. Call the White House at the following number, 202-456-1414, and make your voice heard. Flood their phone lines. Secondly, just as important, we need to warn our Armenian government not to fall prey to clever tricks by Turkish diplomacy that for years has always found a way to stave off the inevitable. What we need to tell our government is genocide recognition is inevitable, it will happen, and together we will reclaim all that is ours, the lives, the lands, everything that was taken away from us must be accounted for. When people read those stories, or from the witness from Darfur, we know, we know, we know what happens. We ask ourselves, what can we do? This ought not to be the case. We ought to be better. We ought to do better. Something should be done. I'm not going to go into everything that we're doing, but believe me, we have people working night and day, as many of you of our brother and sister organizations and people of goodwill are. What I do want to do, though, is to also report that we've made enormous progress in building the Armenian Genocide Museum four blocks from the White House, uh, 50,000 square feet with room to expand. By the end of May, we'll be moving our staff in. The architectural plans are done. The exhibit design plans are done. Thousands and thousands of artifacts and exhibits are being sorted through by experts to determine what should go where to tell our story the best as a point of pride. And most of all, to reflect what I think all of us want is to make sure that we achieve the level of education, that we achieve the level of support so that these things don't happen again, so that we do get a just solution to the continuing crime of the Armenian Genocide. said it was going to be very hot and in the car one of my staffers speculated well maybe they won't have a big attendance the armenian community always turns out because they know that apathy is our greatest enemy 
And let me say, from here, I will go to Temple Emmanuel to commemorate the Shoah, the Holocaust that afflicted six million Jewish people across the face of Europe. And being here and then going there are distinctly related. One of the main reasons that Hitler thought he could get away with killing so many Jewish people was that the whole world forgot the Turkish slaughter of the Armenian people, the Turkish genocide of the Armenian people. And you cannot deny history. So history continues. History is continuous. And history demands that we never, ever forget. And let me say, we will continue to light the torch of truth until Turkey and every other nation in the world recognizes the horrible genocide that was done to the Armenian people in World War I. We will continue to speak and march until that genocide is recognized. Armenians and non-Armenians alike, people of goodwill, will tell the tale to their children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren so that even after the last survivor of the Armenian Holocaust goes to his or her greater reward, the Holocaust will be remembered. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, truth always prevails. Sometimes it takes a hundred years. Sometimes it takes less, sometimes it takes more. But if people of goodwill light that torch of truth, it will always prevail.